Good morning, children. <clears throat> Tuesday, 28th April 2020. Now we are going to do our second lesson on Street Child by Burley Doherty. Learning intention to be able to use a written text or illustration to collect information. Success criteria I can read aloud a text, I can understand the prefixes dis, d, miss, over, and re. I can respond to a visual image. Now let's do some spag before we proceed. <clears throat> Which of these prefixes is needed to complete the following words? D, dis, re, miss, over. Now children, you'll need a sheet of paper and a pen to do this work, okay? For all your English lessons, the resources that you will need are a sheet of paper and a pen or a pencil. Let's start with the first question. Some people think that footballers are something paid. So what prefix are you going to add? D, dis, re, miss or over. B, it took the historian many years to something cover that there really was no treasure. When he found out about the lie, he completely something reacted. Sam had spent the whole night something vising for his test. The gallery felt as though the artist was something respecting them. Even though he had been warned, the man continued to something treat his dog. It is recommended that you something frost your freezer regularly. As the snow got heavier, the green grass began to something appear. She didn't something serve to be treated so harshly. They had enjoyed swimming at that beach so much that they decided to something visit it the following year. Now I'll give you a little bit of time. You can pause the slide before you proceed to the answers. Now the answers, the first one overpaid, discover, overreacted, revising, disrespecting, mistreat, defrost, disappear, deserve and revisit. Now children we are going to start with the story The Street Child by uh, Ms. Dehoti. Okay, now let's start with the preface first. Okay, now yesterday I said that it's about a story of, about a child called Jim Jarvis. Okay, now this boy, he lived during the Victorian times. You can see a picture of Jim Jarvis. He lived during the Victorian times and at that time, London was quite different to what it is now. So this is a story it's set during Victorian times. Okay, there was a lot of poverty and there were many children had to face difficult times during those days. Okay, so let's start with the preface. Tell me your story, Jim. Jim Jarvis. Want to know who that it is? Who that is? It's me. That's my name. Only thing I've got is my name and I've give it away to this man. Barney, his name is, or something like that, he told me once. Only I forgot it, see, and I don't like to ask him again. Mister, I call him to his face, that is, but there's a little space in my head where his name is Barney. He keeps asking me things, he wants to know my story. That's what he tells me. My story, mister? What do you want to know that for? Ain't much of a story mine, ain't. And he looks at me all quiet. It is Jim, he says. It's a very special story. It changed my life, child meeting you. Funny that ain't, because he changed my life. Barney did. I can't believe my luck and that's a fact. Here I am with food in my belly and good hot food at that and plenty more where that came from. 
he says i'm wearing clothes that smell nice and that don't have any holes in either and i'm in this room where there's a great big fire burning and plenty more logs to put on it so it won't just die off there's just me and him the other boys are upstairs in their hammocks all cozy in the big room we sleep in and downstairs there's just me and him special i want to laugh i'm so full of something that i want to laugh out loud and i stuff my fist in my mouth to stop myself barney gives me that look all quiet just tell me your story my story well i creep back to the fire for this i hug my knees i close my eyes to shut out the way the flames dance about and the way his shadow and mine climb up and down the walls i shut out the sound of the fire sniffing like a dog at a rat hole and i think i can hear someone talking very softly it's a woman's voice talking to a child i think she's talking to me mr i say just whispering so i don't chase the voice away can i tell you about my ma so now children this is the preface of the story now you can read the preface silently once again you can pause the slide and read the preface silently now after reading the preface what can you tell about jim what kind of a boy is he and who do you think he is when and where do you think the story took place now as i said before this is an extract from a book set in victorian britain and as i said that britain was quite different during those days very much different to what it is now so think about what does how is jim when you read the preface what kind of a character is he and who is the person person asking him questions now as i said this story is based on a real life story so when you read the preface you come to know that there is this man called barney who wants to know a lot about jim and maybe barney wants to help jim out and that's the reason he wants to know his story now in this slide children you can see a few pictures of victorian britain this was how victorian britain and london was during those days you can see the clothes of the children you can see the streets you can see the buildings these are a few snapshots of how britain was during those days now your task is that after looking closely closely discuss uh, or think about what can you see in those images and make notes about what you can see and what it might have been like to have lived them so imagine yourself living during those days during victorian times and uh, you can think about how life must have been in those days you are going to write notes about what you can see in the pictures and if you would have been a child during that those days how would life have been during those days after you finished writing the task you can email it to us on the year 5 email address good luck and well done to the children who sent me their homework yesterday bye bye